Floyd Mayweather here, third uh, volume of the Floyd Mayweather Senior Mailbag. Um, user Yaqui wants to know, have you ever sparred with your son Floyd? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? What was that like? Uh, you know, uh, the Floyd always been quicker. You know, but I was just, I was just quick like Floyd, so, you know, it's just, uh, we spot, you know, in, uh, Floyd had his moments, I had my moments at times. How old was he? He's young, man, he's about 16 or 17. Okay. Now, you know, that, that, I think, uh, the last time we boxed, I think I was a little older, I think I might have been about... It's been, uh, it's been a, a pretty good while, man. I had, uh, I think the last time we boxed, man, we, we boxed when I was about, uh, I would say, I would say 25 or 30. Okay. Something like that, we boxed them. Now, user Toxic Rex Dog wants to know, do you feel fans these days still appreciate the old classic style of boxing, or are they too caught up in want to see knockouts and blood and guts and wars. Nope, that, that's why Floyd has paid fighters today. It's not, it's not all about, uh, it ain't all about uh, uh, blood, guts, and tears. It ain't all about that. You know, Floyd, Floyd right now has been in this game a while, man. And since he's been in this game, man, you know, everything has been Everything has been all the way, everything's been upbeat for him. Okay. So I think that, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's uh, the answer for that. I think the answer is that, hey, you see right now how, it's, how things are going for him, things are still going. Okay. Now, Jersey Hustler 23 wants to know, do you have any personal thoughts on Pernell Whitaker? Um, his abilities as a fighter and the fact that he fought a lot of people. Pernell <laughs> Whitaker, Pernell Whitaker isn't in the game no more. But what about when he was in the game? And and he wanted to know what do you thought if a prime Pernell Whitaker fight Adrian Broner? I would have to be honest with you, man. I would have to go with Pernell Whitaker. Why do you oh, like about Pernell? Man, Pernell Whitaker was uh, Pernell Whitaker was the best fighter. At one time, I ain't gonna say he was the best. Well, you know, uh, who was fighting? Ali was fighting along with Pernell Whitaker, but yeah. that, that, that's a different. Pernell Whitaker was a smaller man. Yeah, Pernell and, came and, along in like and, the late 80s, kind of too. Yeah, well, Ali was sort of getting out of it then, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, so so I think Pernell was, a, a, I think Pernell was, was one of the you know better fighters than that there. Okay. In the 80s, I think partner, partner Whitaker was a very good fighter. Okay. Um, Broner, user Broner Beast wants to know, you know, when you were on that All Access, uh, Mayweather Guerrero, you had like that soul song you were singing. You, you were singing some kind of poem. They want to know if you were going to like release that song and make, make it available to the public. Oh, I had a, uh, uh, I had a guy down there. I went, I went down there to uh, Kansas City. It's a guy that went down there and I was, I went down there and do a thing for him. I think he got mad because he ended up, he ended up not giving me all my money. And he, uh, he kept my song. But I got somebody that got the song though. Okay. So it's no big deal. Now, International Boy wants to know, has your opinion of Adrian Broner changed after seeing him spar here at the doghouse and a, a, any different thoughts I, on him? I, I, I think that Agent Broner, when he fought here, I think that uh, he did very good against one of my fighters. He did very good against uh, Liddell. He did, uh, he, uh, he, he, uh, but, oh, that's not my fault, you know, because I can't make Liddell do what I want him to do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it was it was one of the other guys in there that was uh, he fought another guy and there's a pretty good fighter that's coming up named uh, Memphis Miller. Memphis, yeah, yeah he, uh, he. But Broner did good with him too. But and the only only one did good with uh, Broner, I think, is the 
the uh, the Mexican that was the, um, the first one that spied with him. Okay. And uh, I don't know the Mexican name, but he was a uh, uh, seemed like he had a lot of good talent. And uh, and I think that uh, him and Broly was going back and forth. So I think that was about tit for tat. But uh, he uh, he did a good job with uh, he did a good job with. Memphis, him and Memphis had to get Tango and AR class Fidel all the way. Okay. Now, uh, now with um, Manny, okay, whose style is harder to emulate? Floyd Mayweather or Muhammad Ali? Who is the easiest to emulate? emulate. Who, who is more difficult, I guess I should say, to emulate? Your son Floyd or Muhammad my son, Ali? My son would be definitely. Anybody can fight like Ali, you dance and have your hands down. You dance with your hands down and uh, you know, you, you move your head while you're moving. And you know, you move your head, you know, you keep your hands down or or you want to say cash is clay, you go back to Ali. Uh, rope or dope, that's, 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 uh, that's 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 the more I mean, when he was taking punches and stuff. So uh, I, I would definitely say Floyd's all the way. Now, um, boxing phenom ninety five wanted to know when Floyd was in, in jail, didn't you cross paths with Manny Pacquiao and say you guys had to exchange a few words or so? No, no, no. You never have no, talked no, to Pacquiao. I, I had a I uh, I, I passed by him. Uh, they was. It was something that was going on in the, uh, the top uh, top rate gym. Yeah, I was over there and uh, uh, I seen Manny. I spoke to Manny. I was very polite. What was that like? Manny. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't have no problem with guys like that, man. I mean, you know, it is what it is. And one thing about it, I'm gonna say what I got to say. You know, it don't make a difference whether whether I'm whether I say, hey, hello, how you doing? Today, hey, if they gonna fight with my son, the, the next day it'll be just like night. Okay. It'll be, it'll be thunder and raining. Okay. User GoHeat77 want to know, do you feel Floyd, your son, that he could excel in track and field given, you know, his abilities, his athletic ability? Could he? Well, I, 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 was, I, would, I would think so. He's a... Uh, Floyd, a uh, very, very fast runner. Floyd used to run with me, but I was shot in the leg, though. I was shot in the leg. Uh, I was shot in the leg with a 20 gauge shotgun, so I can't really say uh, uh, when me and Floyd was running. I mean, I mean, we ran and stuff. You know, it was. He used to run with me, man. We, I, I used to. Catch it with him and pass him, and he passed me, and you know, back and forth. You know, we we ran, used to run a long, long way. We used to run like, like, you know, eight mile runs, you know, eight nine mile runs. Okay. Now, David thirteen, Way thirteen, Iverson thirteen. That user wanted to know, any, <laughs> that's his name. Do you any thoughts on Guillermo Rigondeau as a fighter, the Cuban two-time gold medalist? I will be honest, man. I'm just not trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm just not trying to keep up with that guy. And then I, I, I see him. I think he has got kind of hair cut and kind of flat. I, I think that's right. I, I, I I'll be honest. I, I, I kept after the, the years went by, man. I haven't been keeping up with the fighters like that. Okay. You know, I got just certain fighters that is there today. I would, uh, what's his name, uh, today, the guy that inspired the deal. Broner. Yeah, Broner, he's, Broner right now to me is one of the guys of today. He's one of the, he's, he's one of the better fighters of this era right here. Okay. And, uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm going to be honest, man, don't have, don't have many people that, and, and, and I would, and I would, and I would, I would, I would go along with what, right now, the way the page is, I go right along with the page right now, that floor is number one, 
Number one, number two. Okay, and last question. You, Go Heat 77 wanted to know the issue with Ruben Guerrero, were you guys with trading words and stuff, was that a legitimate issue or was it for the cameras just to hype up the fight? Man, I don't play, I don't play on nobody's cameras, man. <laughs> While you play Whatever I do, it's real. And I was more than happy, I was more than happy to oblige him to come down here and get his ass whooped. And, uh, and, I, and I, I said get his ass whooped because he ain't gonna whoop mine. So I already know that. So even though all these knockouts he claimed that he had, and ain't, no, ain't nobody never seen this record. The record I seen, he was Owen whatever. I think he had yeah. Had one decision and all the rest of the fight was losses. So I I know good and well ain't nobody like that gonna even think about even stepping up to me. That's why he was running. That's why he was running because all that all that trash talking he was talking. Man, he was getting ready to get it and get it good. <laughs> okay. That would have been a pleasant thing for me to do, but right. but it looked it. Right now, it looks like uh, me and him is going to be on. Uh, it looks like he's going to be on uh, a reality, reality show. show with us. You guys yeah. going to be able to get along? Uh, I'm the one that told him to let him come on. Okay. I don't have no problem with him coming on. I mean, he, hopefully, he, since the fight's over, think you know you guys will be all right. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm okay, man. I'm good with everything, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not going. That that right there, that, that right there, cool down, squared away. And that's where I'm leaving. Thanks.